Here's your heads up to this five minute quickie. It's following a line backwards from a voice box to awesome fishes to smaller fishes and even in the middle, a jar of awesomeness. What's this all about? Well, you just have to listen. Warning, 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 warning. You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey, you know I listen to a lot of podcasts, and just the other day I was reminded of a concept. Now, I know things change and are developed, which is really good, but you know, this was a core concept that I knew about from a long time ago, but this guy, Marcus Buckingham, was telling of something that happened to him. He'd written about a thing called well, it was called The Voice Box, or they changed it to a voice box. I'm not quite sure, but it was on the Good Love Project podcast. So if you ever want to listen to it, please go Marcus Buckingham, The Good Life Project podcast. A really good podcast. But he was talking about some children had been using his concept to create something really wonderful. And basically, it was just a box. A box with a hole in the top. And in that box... The children were asked to write of the things they enjoyed in the day and put it in that box. And they'd call it a voice box because by having and noticing these wonderful experiences, it gave them a voice. They found their true voice. And I really believe that is a really good thing to do. And I think it will develop a true voice, enable you to be a little bit vulnerable, as we say, but a real true voice, your own true voice. And the really interesting thing about it was the investment was just a cardboard box. But the difference it made to those children was immense. In fact, absenteeism began to drop. Results began to rise. And they put it down to this voice box. So big up to Marcus Buckingham because that's brilliant. But it, I kept thinking about it. I think, well, I can remember something about this. I can. I can remember doing a podcast way back in the early days of the five minute quickie when five minute quickies were actually five minute quickies. And it's five minute quickie number five, way back in December. December 15. Whoa, a long time ago. And it was because I'd listened to a podcast by Tim Ferriss. And Tim Ferriss had this jar of awesomeness. And he had a jar. And the things that he enjoyed, he would write a little note and put it in the jar of awesomeness so he could look at it whenever he wanted to. But he kept those good things, the good, the good reminders, as it were. He didn't just need, leave it to his conscious mind, an unconscious mind to remember these things. They were there in the physicality, as it were. Because that also reminded me way back to my trainer's training as an NLP trainer, where we would give fishes and they were little pieces of paper with a fish on the back and we'd write notes of the things that we enjoyed the thank yous the gratitudes and we would give it to other people and that made them feel so good and it made me feel good and, and I just did a little talk about this a little while ago and I've still got those fishes and when I was looking at them man did I feel good and that reminded me to my very first practitioner of NLP where we had little fishes. Now, I wonder there's a theme coming here and we'd do an exercise and then you'd go for a cup of coffee and you'd come back and on your, your manual or on your, your chair would be a little fish just telling you how much that person enjoyed uh, what you did or something about what you did and that made you do it even more. Do it and just made you feel so good. So the core principle is there of getting people to, to just expand and, and 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 do the things that they do well and bring them up allow them to have a voice tell them that you're hearing that voice but the thing is i thought and another thought came through well how can i use this in a different way now sometimes i talk about we need to get into a state not a, a state state but we need to get into an emotional state and an appropriate moment 
uh, emotional state. So say we're going to an interview. We need to be calm, collected, and things like that. Well, if you know times when you had a really good interview or you you met somebody and it was that was the state you wanted and you wrote it on your own little personal awesome fishes and you had that and you put a little note though on that note, colour note or whatever it is and make it, this is my calm and collected state. This is my excited state. This is my focus state. So you just write little things off. Oh, I did this work and it was really deep diving and focused and it's so good and it was about so-and-so. So when you read it again, you would go back into that memory and find that state. And I thought, well, if we're going to get states, then we could do anchoring, can't we? Do you remember the simple anchoring where you put a finger and thumb together? That's a simple way. We can do it in any part of your body. You just had that unique stimulus, as it were, when you hear something or feel something. So when you're looking at that one of those fishes and you go back into that memory, it will make it alive again. You don't have to just think about it because it's there, it's written down. You can remember it so much more clearly and then you can fire that anchor off or set that anchor. So when you come to do the thing you want to do, then you fire off the anchor. So you've got, you don't, I ask clients, you know, can they think of a time when you were really confident or things like that or really calm, focused? And they go, well, I'm sure I can. Well, if we had those fishes, I'd go, what about this one? you go, oh, that's the time, yeah. And that would spur on your thoughts and probably bring other memories along as well. And then I thought, so that, well, there's two wonderful ways of doing it. But I thought, well, could you just give fishes to people anyway without being on a piece of paper? And I thought, well, how many different ways can I think of, can you think of, that you could give just a little bit of feedback, wonderful feedback of something you enjoyed about that person or that person that gave you enjoyment, the thing you thought they did really well. And that can be just a little word, can't it? Or sometimes, you know, and this is not necessarily doing it for work purposes. If you've got your best mate and you just say, I really like having you as a best mate. Yeah, I love that. Really love your company and carry on. So just Paul being a bit silly, let's just carry on. Do you know what? It would go in. It would be something that would resonate deep inside them. They'd feel good about themselves. Well, that was a really good point, and you put that over really well. I really enjoyed that. And then move on. So it's like planting those seeds, those fish seeds, if you get fish seeds. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about there. But just giving fishes out for no good reason. Well, good reason, but for no, doesn't have to be a special time. As and when you see it, and it doesn't have to be for work, it could be just with your best friend, it could be for yourself with a fish, it could be with your partner. I just love it the way you look at me like that, you know? Right at that time, boom, you are going to connect, and they're going to do more of it. And that means you get to enjoy it even more. Because the more you tell people the things you enjoy about them, and it's genuine, it's from the heart, they're going to enjoy it, and they're going to do it more. And they're going to do it more unconsciously, because your unconscious mind or their unconscious mind knows this is something that makes them feel good or makes you feel good. Hey, wouldn't that be awesome? So from awesome fishes to the jar of awesomeness to the voice box, I wonder where else it will go. Such a good thing. It was nice to be reminded and nice to have that reminder because I went through in my head that Tim Ferriss podcast and the talk I did on it. And I went through my trainer's training. I actually went through the paperwork again, my little fishes. And I went through my thoughts of my NLP training. It made me feel good. Just getting that reminder it made me think even more to remind you of other things we've talked about that hopefully will make you feel good and inspire you to do even more. More for yourself, so you feel good and you radiate that goodness and everyone around you then will get it. And then you're doing it good for others. And then we're going to get it so it's even good for our planet. Because when we're feeling good and doing good stuff, the planet has got to get better. And the people in that planet, our little Earth, will get better. 
well, that's a big one, Paul. But yeah, it will slowly but surely. Like, we're just going to keep flapping our little butterfly wings, tipping over that one first domino of this domino rally to make a better place for you, a better place for me, and a better place for everyone else. There you go. That's me off my little old soapbox again. I'm going to speak to you real soon. If you enjoyed this, as usual, please give me feedback via email, feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. It's safe. It doesn't go anywhere. It only goes to me and you'll get a personal reply. Hey, you might even get a gift come back. I think you normally do. And just enjoy. Enjoy and share. Please share this with, with your best friend. Please share this with your not best friends, if you would. If you just pay it forward to two people at a time, it would be awesome because it just makes this this podcast more popular. And by becoming more popular, that's not my ego thing. It's a thing that allows more people to get the benefit of this simple advice, breaking down the complicated to simples. And if you enjoy it, please you know share that enjoyment with other people. It's like giving a fish. You're doing really well. I love the way you're, you know, you're looking after yourself. And here's some things that might help you as well. He's a bit of an idiot, but he's okay. He's honest. He's true. There you go. That's me, old Cluffy. I'll be back with another Personal Development Unplugged podcast very, very soon. Bye-bye now. So many of you now signing on to the hypnosis tracks at paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. Now, why would you want to do that if you haven't done it already? And I want to tell you, because you keep them all in one place. There's no searching. There's no searching through 250 odd podcasts to find that one hypnosis track you want. And because they're all in one place, you can look through them and suddenly see things that you've forgotten about. And you may want to then listen to that type of hypnosis track. It's just, you know, you've got an issue, you can go down that page and you find them. And the good thing about this is you will also receive updates via email of all the latest hypnosis tracks. So you, you know, if you miss that podcast, you won't miss a hypnosis track. They're all there for you. You'll also get a few little free gifts in hypnosis and discounts onto the bigger programs that I have. It's a simple one page part of my website with a list of all of those hypnosis tracks and guess what they're all downloadable and they're all free so you get them all you have to do is sign in sign in to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast it's as simple as that 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 was the how by the way i know some people i'm not some people are a bit worried about people sharing emails the reason i'm not is because i don't do it don't do it ever 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 anyway if you want all those hypnosis tracks, you want to get updates on your email, and you also want maybe a, f- a few free gifts and discounts on the programs, go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. You'll love it. Hey, I know what you're thinking. I've heard this before, but you haven't heard this one. So anyway, I know you've only got so much time in the world. Time is precious. And you've only got so much time to share good things with your friends. So maybe, maybe the next time you consider sharing something, you can consider sharing this podcast or a podcast of mine, of Personal Development Unplugged that you enjoyed and share it with, I'd like you to share it with everyone. You know, the pay it forward. And if you pay it forward and you ask somebody else to pay it forward, you know, we'll be really creating this community, this community of the Personal Development Unplugged kind. So I'd love you to do that, if you could. If you would like to subscribe to this podcast, you can do it through iTunes, you can do it through podcast, podcast, cast box. Um, you can do that. And if you'd love to leave a little review, five stars is always good, but the words are really more important. If you do that, it takes about, I know it takes, people say, oh, it takes seconds, but it doesn't. It takes probably a couple of minutes. If you could do that right now, Hey, that would be good. And lastly, all this hypnosis that I do is completely free. You have to go to another website, though. 
keeps it all nice and clean for you. It's also downloadable, which is the bit I like. I want to give it to you. And so you can put it on any device that you want and you can listen to it anywhere you want. You don't need to have your, your Wi-Fi, your internet on. So that's at paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. You do have to put an email address in because I have to send you the link to, to get it. But I just want to tell you now for all this data protection stuff and everything that's going on at the moment, I do not share your emails with anyone. No one. Nada. They're just to let me send you the link and send you a few updates of the new hypnosis tracks and what I'm hoping to do as this community, because that's how you get part to become like the official member of the Unplugged Personal Development Community, is to send some more personal um, hypnosis tracks that won't be available or talked about on the podcast. There'll be things of my creation which I just want to give to you. So if you'd like that, go there, paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. We'll have some great times. We will. I think that's about it. So enjoy every heartbeat. And please remember, do share. Be great. Bye now. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.